Hey there. Have you always wished Fusion had an auto trace feature so you could trace around images? If so, then this is the video for you. We're going to be using the Shaper Trace to achieve exactly that. So, some of you might be aware of Shaper from the Shaper Origin, the handheld CNC machine. But today, we're going to be using the Shaper Trace, which is a handy little gadget you can use to take photos of images or sketches, then use them to kind of trace the outline or get the center line and bring them in as an SVG into whatever design software you use. In this case, Fusion for us. Today we're going to be using it for something a little bit different though. I've got these amazing pens that were sent to me and I want to make some pen trays for them. So I need to bring them into a CAD environment so I can make the, the pen tray. Ordinarily in Fusion I could uh, bring in a high quality image and insert it as canvas. Decide what plane I want it on like this. Just line it up. I go in and then calibrate that pen based on a known dimension, so I can measure the length, go in and calibrate our canvas, click on the ends, put in unknown dimension, get that scale to the right size, which would normally be great. But because Fusion doesn't have an auto trace, as some of the CAD software does, what I'd then have to do is go in and create a sketch and go and start tracing that geometry manually, which is quite a laborious and uh, time consuming process. So I'm going to use the shape of trace today to kind of speed up this process of bringing in this geometry. You just have to go around and I'd have to trace, have to use some three point arcs to try and capture these uh, features here. So it will be quite a long drawn out process. So let's jump across to Shaper and see how we can use Shaper to speed up this process for us. Let's go to the Shaper Trace frame and pop our pen in the middle. Then we'll jump into the app and we'll take an image of this pen. What the app will do, we'll try and get the outline of our image and we can save that out as an SVG file. So let's call it pen outline. Then we head over to our files and we've got our SVG file which we can then download. And you can see I've had a few attempts trying to do this here. So we download that and we'll bring that into Fusion and that's our SVG. You can see it's a little bit messy which we need to clean up now to get rid of some of this uh, additional detail we get from the reflections. So let's go through, start deleting some of this detail we don't need. All we're trying to do here is really get that outside profile which we can then use to create our pen tray. So let's go ahead and clean some of this up. Let's delete some of those. Some features here as well we need to get rid of. Yep, let's grab those. Perfect. Let's hit delete. And that one. And that there. Awesome. Right, let's go through and put a center line down the image. So we can use that to revolve our feature of our profile around. So grab that there. I'm just going to put one in down the bottom here as well. Perfect. So once we've done that, we're going to finish up our sketch. And now we're going to use that profile we've got and just revolve that round to create our pen. So grab revolve, select that profile. Select our axis, which is our center axis there. And we've got our pen. Nice and simple, no um, laborious tracing by hand in the sketch environment. So you can see that it's not done this perfectly. We've got some features here we might need to get rid of or we'll go back and tune up. So the obvious one is here. So we can go back to our sketch. We can find out where that's coming from. So we've got this uh, area where it's not picked up the profile properly here. So we'll go in and we'll just try and edit this. Um, easiest way is to just go in and just put a line in there and we'll just trim off the area where it's not captured all of that outline properly. So we'll go in, use our trim tool, and just trim off those areas to clean up our profile. And that's looking much better exactly what we need so our next step is going to be we're going to take our solid of our pen we're going to then project essentially a cross section through it and then do an offset and create a new body 
which is slightly bigger than this pen to give us some clearance around our pen to create in the box and so we're going to jump in and do exactly that now so create a new sketch I'm just going to go through and project all of this geometry from our pen through to that sketch by clicking on the sections I'll speed up so you would have to watch me do all of these we just got those last couple of sections of the pen there to project through our geometry perfect so we've got all those points that will now mean we can do an offset from those points to create our new body for our pen with the uh, clearance built in so what we want to do now is go and select these points we'll just use half of the points because we can use that for another revolve and choose those points and we can choose to offset those points uh, I think probably maybe 1.5 would work oh, no. 1.5 millimeters that looks good okay we just need to go and close up this uh, profile where we've done the offset so we'll just do these with some straight lines down to our center line here and there and we'll do the same this end we'll just do that with a straight line as well perfect just click that across give us our closed profile so we'll finish up our sketch that's going to give us our offset profile so as before we're going to revolve this new profile so go up create and revolve going to select our new profile offset and revolve that around our center line that's given us a new body which is slightly bigger than our original pen which we want to use to essentially cut out the cavity for our pen so let's call that one our original pen and let's call this new body pen cut out great so now we want to create our tray uh, let's just use a rectangle so let's go and grab a rectangle. I'm going to be a little bit lazy in the way I create my box. So I'm just going to do a rectangle and a sketch on this side. Yep, that looks about right. Just click there. And let's change the dimension. Is that about right, maybe? A little bit bigger. 18 feels better. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to be lazy and just mirror that across. Grab our lines, that's our mirror line. Yep, that looks great for our kind of outside of our pen tray. Let's finish our sketch. So now we're going to extrude that shape to give us our pen tray. Let's go for a side on view. I think probably about 12 should be fine. Let's change that to new body instead of cut. That's looking good. So now we've done that, we want to take our pen tray. We want to subtract the geometry of our pen with the offset from it. Select that as our tool body. Choose OK. We get our cut out where our pen's going to sit. That looks great. So now we've got this cut out for the pen. I think I want to extend the tray and the upwards a little bit just so the pen sits a little bit deeper so we're going to extrude this top face uh, let's give it about two mil that feels about right now perfect and let's turn on the original pen so we can see how the pen's going to sit in the tray that looks a great fit that's exactly what I was trying to achieve next what I want to do is just put a couple of cutouts so you can reach in and get your fingers around the, the pen to extract it so we're going to grow, go in and just draw a circle there finish our sketch and those two areas where it intersects the profile we're just going to cut those down into the tray yep perfect that just means you can get your fingertips in to remove the pen let's just fill at the bottom of these as well to give them a bit of a curve yeah four mil feels about right perfect uh, I just want to go through maybe and just clean up some of these sharp edges of this tray as well. 
So let's do a few more fillets. Save it first. So let's fillet some of these corners and put a radius on them, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. So let's go through, select these corners and put a radius on. Just rotate to find that final one. Does four look about right? Yeah, maybe five. Let's do the same to the top as well and fill in that top edge. We oh, know too much. Two? Yeah, that feels better. Awesome. So now I want to have a go at 3D printing this, but before I do that, let's just do a check in cross section, make sure we've got our clearance between our pen and the tray all the way through. Perfect. Right, now across to try and 3D print it, so let's export this as an STL and set it to print. the magic of fast forward we're done that's looking amazing perfect let's go and try with the pen so we've got our pens let's see how it fits perfect that's exactly what i was trying to achieve not too tight also not too loose with the pen as well let's try with our minimum one Also a great fit, as you'd expect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See now you can use the shape of trace to bring geometry into fusion and speed up your workflow. Hope to see you again soon.